I really think that we are um, we are made we are made of stories. The way we move, the way we behave, is very much linked to the kind of stories we have been told about our past, about our territories, about um, our body, about uh, our position in space. You know, we are, we are a cluster of stories, so to speak. When you are a woman, you have awful, terrible, frightening stories about what it means to be a woman, for instance. So how do you go out of that? Um, I take the example of women because I think it's very easy to understand what I mean. But just think in terms of um, how a relationship to the planet, for instance. Again, we are clusters of stories about that. If one tells you and one has told you for the last, let's say, 10 centuries <laughs> that the planet is here to feed you and that the animals are here to be used, but then you continue to do the same. So one absolutely key role for me for art and research, and here you can see why they are the same actually for me, art and research, is to retell and retell again and again new stories to help us go out of those very, very, very st strict and narrow structures, narrative structures. I'm talking about uh, narratology here. We are completely made of those structures, like there is one um, one kind of role that should do this kind of things. Um, what I have discovered through my um, theatre experiences and, and, and researches is to what extent stories are powerful. Because they, they give you a position, an action and a result. There, there is this kind of structure, an architectonic structure. Stru stories, they can build the space, for instance. If we tell that uh, the space is made of that and that and that, a certain order, you can change the cosmos. That's what happened is in the 17th century. Stories, to me, fictions, are world-making devices. So, once you have understood that, then you can start to remake the world. It's hard, because first you need to break the old stories. First you need to break the stories that tell you, you are a woman, your place is at home with the children. You don't have to create, you can't think, you can't do new things, you have to help your man. That's one type of story which is one of the most powerful stories and the most terrible stories that exist. But it is so powerful. How do you break that story? How do you break that role? And then there is another story that tells that, look, the earth is very big, we can use whatever we like, or another story which tells, look, humans, we have always found solutions. We will be fine. You know, we are very clever. We invent things. Look at what we have done. That's another story, which is really powerful and difficult to go beyond. So there is always this moment where art really, the kind of things I'm doing at least, is, try, is trying to break that old stories and to invent new ones um, by uh, just... Um, and, and here, really, uh, it's difficult to say, but there is a link between story and space for me. Uh, if you tell um, this the same kind of story, but you change the space, it doesn't work anymore. For instance, if you tell the story of, OK, we are on a very... Um, cool place that you can just use, and suddenly the space moves, like in Gaia Global Circus, then of course the story is broken. So that's this kind of little changes that we can do uh, with our very modest tools, which are stories and actors and bodies uh, on stage.